Hey guys! So today we are going to take a trip down memory lane and talk about the makeup items that are no longer with us that I miss the most. Now things are never truly gone because of things like eBay and you know online shopping but I'm talking about items that you can't walk into a store and buy them anymore because they have been discontinued or they're just no longer available for whatever reason so let us start I got my my notes right here the first thing that I want to talk about is Maybelline dream bouncy blush Maybelline Dream Bouncy blushes had the most lovely texture and they just melted right into the skin. They they blended so well and thus color selection was fantastic. At one time I had every single color. I was crazy about them and I think when those expired, I think I may have even gone out and bought them all again. I really, really love them. Now, Neutrogena came out with a similar thing of uh, a few months ago and I'm on a no buy right now so I can't go out and try one to see if it's like the Maybelline one so if any of you have ever tried the new um, Neutrogena blushes I saw them at Walmart one day I think they only come in two colors though and I looked at them and I thought about it and I was like, well, I don't know. And I, I think I was going to do some research and find out if they were any good. And then I kind of forgot about it and now I'm on a no-buy. So if any of you have ever tried them, let me know. And um, when I'm not on a no-buy, whenever that may be, I have no idea, um, maybe I can check it out. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is... New York Color Smooth Skin Bronzing Powder in the shade Sunny. It only came in the one shade, so I don't know why they even needed a color name because it was just the one product. That was the only bronzer that I used for years and years and years. And whatever happened to New York Color? I did a little investigation, a little investigating uh, before I made this video. And New York Color still has a website, but I have not seen that brand anywhere. They used to sell it all over the place at one time, but I have not seen that brand in years. So I guess they still exist, but I don't know. Um, I guess, you know, things that don't sell well, the stores push them out and bring in other brands. But yeah, New York Color Sunny Bronzer. I, I used to love that. That was... Just it was just the perfect color and the texture of the blood. Um, the bronzer was nice. It used to blend really well. And let me know if you remember that. All right. So the next thing I want to talk about is Revlon lip butters. Oh my God, Revlon, Revlon! Why would you ever discontinue those? They were a big seller for you. And, you know, I used to buy um, and try a lot of Revlon things, and I don't anymore. I don't know. I just have lost interest in the brand. They just don't put out products that interest me anymore. But, man, I love those lip butters. And, again, just like with the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blushes, I had them in every shade. And what a color range. Some of those colors were so unique, and you just can't find a facsimile of them anymore. Um, it was like, I'm, I'm sure that all of you tried at least one at one time, but if you didn't, the texture was like, it was like a tinted lip balm, but softer. It was so nice because it was a, a really soft texture. You put it on, it just melted into your lips. And yeah, the color selection was phenomenal. Oh my God, I used to love those so much. Okay, so the next item I want to talk about is ELF Smudge Pots. It was a cream eyeshadow, 
They came in fantastic colors. I think my favorite was called Ain't That Sweet. It was this beautiful light pink shade, but there were other really great colors in the line too. The texture of these was fantastic. You could wear them alone. They were just beautiful as is, or you could put powder eyeshadows into the look and build around them. They were really great. And um, the I, I was doing a little research before I made the video and I did find Ain't That Sweet on Ulta's website. That was the only shade that was listed. It was an online only product. But aside from that, there is no trace of these anywhere. And yeah, I used to love those really great, great formula, great colors. Yeah. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, Academy of Color eyeshadows at Kohl's. These have just disappeared. I went on Kohl's website this morning to double check and in fact they are not there. However, I did find a lip kit by Academy of Color on there, but I have a funny feeling that that's just a remainder from before um, because if you go to the Academy of Colors website, actually they have one under the parent corporation which is called Amelia Knight. It says um, website is being rebuilt, come back later or something along those lines and that's usually a bad sign every company that I've ever seen that usually the company is out of business um, I saw it happen with um, shophush.com I saw it happen with bad habit and that's pretty much what it says on this website but anyway I am so glad that I grabbed these when I did because I went crazy and bought just about everything they had. I think there was only one eyeshadow palette that I didn't buy and this wasn't all that long ago. This was like a year, a year and a half ago, something like that. But these eyeshadows, I love them so much and they're not expensive. The real retail price on this palette this is called the High Voltage Palette, was $15, so less than a dollar a shadow because you got 20 shades in here, all different textures, finishes, colors. Yeah, I would say this one was my favorite, but I also got this one around Christmas time, and this was just called the Nudes, and yeah, these, these are amazing, so I really hope that this company isn't out of business. There was the Cranberry palette, the Prismatic palette, I mean just so many different colors and textures and finishes and really good quality, really affordable eyeshadow palettes that you can just walk into a store and buy them. But sadly, haven't seen them at Kohl's in a really long time and I think they have gone the wayside. So if you have any products that you really miss that you can't get anymore, leave them down below in the comment section. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Have a nice hol long holiday weekend, you guys, because now it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Probably won't see you till next week. Bye.